Hey guys, and welcome back to Halfstone with me, Hollow. We are playing some more Ranked in the final days of the season. Um, whatever season we're in now, I mean, I don't know what season number we're in. But either way, it's the final few day days of the season, or final day, whatever it is. And uh, yeah, the reset's very, very soon. Hey, what's this Hunter card that I have? It's an upgraded Arcane Shot. Okay, alright. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be playing Trump's Ramp Druid today. He's been streaming um, a lot of ramp. You know, in general, right now, ramp is really strong, and there's a good reason for that. Um, because, basically, as the meta changes, and we see different decks being played, different styles, older decks that were once powerful and then became weak because the meta evolved around it, and then the meta evolved and evolved and evolved, and then it's become something that ramp is actually good at beating again at last, we can play it again. And it's a very simple style style of deck if you don't know what it is and it's really quite fun. So we have uh, two innovates and wild growths. These are really obvious. These are things to play as a druid where you can make uh, really strong plays earlier in the game. Pretty simple. Wrath is good removal and it can give you a card and uh, zombie chow is just a good nice one drop and it fits really well on curve a lot of the time when you're innovating things out and you might have that extra mana or something you know. Um, and it's, it's a good turn we'll play you know it can stop a lot of damage against rush decks as well. That's a good reason why it's in the deck. Then we have the Mind Control deck. This is going into a lot of decks right now. There are many decks with playing a bunch of minions on the board and doing work. Mind Control tech counters that. And it's really powerful in the meta right now and a lot of decks running it. Obviously we have the Swipes. Shade and Axe awesome card for just uh, ramp. Keeper of the Grove, not needed to be explained. Sentient Shieldmaster, good 4 drop, just an extra 4 drop. Just a, a way to slow down those fast decks, you know, face hunter, zoo, just anything like that, you know, just a good deck card for that. Now, I was running two Druid of the Claws, and I've seen he's actually made this change where he's putting Azure Drake in, and I really like this because it means more card draw, obviously, um, something good sooner, whatever, 4-4 four, four versus a 4-6 four, or 4-4 four, four with charge, you know, it's not as good, but the spell power, spell power makes a big difference because in a lot of times, you'll find yourself being able to make a big play with a swipe, doing two damage across the board, and oftentimes saving the day, and I like to have that utility and option in the deck, so it's good to have that back. Then we have the Sludge Belchers, obviously, great card for ramp. Sylvanas, great card for ramp. Black Knight right now is really good in the meta because there's a lot of ramp Druid, funnily enough, and a lot of taunts in general. Great swing card, great tempo card, good card. Ancient of Law goes into so many Druid decks, it's amazing. Ancient of War, awesome for a ramp Druid. Kel'Thuzad, this is where the fun begins. My god, I've had so many games where it's just like, turn 8, top deck that Kel'Thuzad, Play it, trade everything, kill all his stuff, my stuff's dead, end my turn, Kel'Thuzad revives them all, game over, I've won. So great. Sneeze has just been recently added to the deck, it is essentially just a great 8 drop that you can innovate on turn 6, coin innovate I guess, turn 5, uh, if you really wanna I guess, and uh, just a solid, solid card. Powerful, hard to remove, costs his removal, and that's removal you don't want to be used on Kel'Thuzad and Ancient of War. Um, so good card. You know, whatever. If you if they use the silence or removal on these cards, you know, then you've got the Sneeds. And Scenarius, because he's just a great card, um, can be really helpful. And the buffing and whatnot, you know. Scenar Scenarius, great card. So we're currently very close to rank 11. Let's begin. Alright, so first opponent being a rogue. I really like a wild girl for an innovate, so we don't want that, we don't want that. The question is, do we want to keep the shield master? I would say no. Just because I really need the wild growth and innovates. Do we get any? No. I guess we get the swipe. I guess we get the keeper. This is good to have, but it's a bit early for it. There's a Wrath, I guess. Really hoping for a uh, wild growth right now. Wild growth, insanely important. Um, an innovate wouldn't be that good right now. I would innovate out an Ancient of Law on turn 5. Based on what's happening. Alright, so he's fortunately not had a good turn 1. He does have coin on a rogue, which is definitely an advantage for him though. Um, so Wrath is going to be really important. You know, if you play something that I can kill with a Wrath, I feel like right now I'm going to have to be forced to deal with it. But uh, Control uh, Rogue is popping up a lot. Not really Miracle Rogue, but whatever, Control Rogue is, is popping up a lot. You know, it's, uh, it's we're, we're past the dark days, the scary days of Miracle Rogue being insanely powerful and having to worry about your health at all times and whatnot. Um, so yeah, uh, thankfully that those days are over. This has been a bit of a slow start for us, you know, and as Ramp Druid, you know, that happens, but uh, sometimes you just get a, a, a hand that is just really slow. Fortunately for me, he has also apparently got a slow hand, so I would really appreciate 
I'll go off. There it is. So that's going to allow us to Sylvanas next turn and then follow up with a Ancient of Law. Really great turn there, especially because he had nothing on turn three. Again with a coin. He's going to probably do some work. You know, he's probably going to really mess me up soon. Um, no doubt about it. But I have some really strong answers right now. A lot of strong answers. Fan of Knives, that is desperate. That is desperate, I think. Maybe, I suppose, what, what is he going to fanonize me? Not much. So, maybe it's okay to do that, but, um... Wow, yeah, okay. What does this say about his hand right now? It must be missing what he's got, or it must be expensive, something like that. Alright, we've got the Innovate. That would have been a great Innovate Sneed, I suppose. So, this could be sapped right now, and that would be fine, you know? I'm just going to play an Ancient of Lore and then play this again on turn 8. Shiv, alright, so it's not being sapped, and it looks like he's dealing with it. There was no backstab, but there is an eviscerate. Cool. So that is, you know, one eviscerate down. He's apologizing to me, but I'm completely fine with that. He's used a deadly poison to do damage to my face. Two inches of law. Awesome. So let's just draw some cards. Let's get some more answers and utility. Inch of war. Nice. Zero Drake. Awesome. So we can get a two damage swipe across the board soon if we need two. Plus uh, the wrath will be a little bit stronger as well. Got to watch out for that low theb though. It's going to happen at some point. A little bit cocky, though, this Gabfire guy. Based on uh, his emote usage so far. Let's shoot him. <laughs> Alright, I may have killed a goblin by accident. There we go, got him. Alright, so, preparation. Oh, backstab. You got a preparation as well, though, right? Otherwise, that's crazy dead. Yeah, there's the preparation. So, guys, Miracle Rogue is back. It's totally back. Alright, two eviscerates down and they weren't used on my face, so that's good. Probably thinks that's fine for him. I have the answer. I was hoping that he would emote me, just to, you know, really mess with him. Either way, that's gone. So I could go to free mana and I don't actually have anything that I can play on free mana, that's good. Besides the tech card. The question is, am I going to use the tech card at any point in this game? Innovate's not really going to be that useful for me from now on. So... Should I? Should I? I'm gonna go ahead and say... Yes, my hand's pretty full. Let's do it. Let's see. Plus, you know, I've got the Scenarius at some point, which could buff it up. We'll see We'll see how it goes. Plus, I'd like him to play around um, Force of Nature Savage, which is something that I don't actually have in the deck, because I'm playing Ram Druid. So, if he plays around that based on this play, awesome. Makes him wake, waste cards and play in a way that is... Convenient to me. I think that's actually going to be a swipe, by the way. So if I make him waste something on the free free, I'd be happy with it. Okay. All right. Okay. So backstab on something that I considered worthless. That's that's a win for me, I think. Cool. Um. So I could swipe it. That leaves me with five mana to play the Sludge Belcher, and I quite like that play actually. I really like that. Gets rid of his spell power, we do a bit of damage to his face, and we put the walls up. Now, um, priority is to get the Ancient of Lore out, but we only want to do that when we have something protecting us in this game, in this situation, for my plan anyway. Um, I could just play an Ancient of War, but it could be sapped back. Right now, any of these targets being sapped is probably fine for me and bad for him. I could just play this out again, and this gives me a card when I play it out again, so totally amazing for me. Right now, he's definitely drawn more of his deck than me, by a big way. Five card difference. He's got nine cards in his hand, though. But I can pull that back with the law, you know, whatever. Alright, so he didn't get the most use out of that, fortunately, because he didn't have a minion in play. Okay, all right. So that's a blade flurry down, two eviscerates down. That looks really nice for me. We have a taunt up as well, so we'll just play the law. He's played nothing, so this is a really nice turn for me to play this. If we could get a shade of Naxxramas, that would be wonderful. No luck there, but uh, you know, whatever. See what we get. Shade of Naxxramas. Damn, all right. So we just play the uh, Chow. Go face, get some armor. Now, sure, that gives him a 5 heal, but mostly we're looking for our Scenarius at this point. And we're going to buff up everything, and it'll probably help me a lot more in general. And it worked really well on Curve. You see, I was saying earlier when we are looking at the deck, this is a card that works well when you're missing that 1 mana play. You know, I didn't have a 1 mana play there. 
Um, and Zombie Chow sort of filled that out for me. So even though I'm not against a Rush deck, an Aggro deck, or Zoo, or something like that, still worked out well. Alright, so this could be a swipe time, I think. Yeah, I can remove everything he's got here right now pretty efficiently. Do I need a silence? Black Knight. I don't think I need a silence. So I don't even have to give him the 5 health. What am I going to do if I don't do that? Sengen Shield Master and Hero Power, I guess. Which would give him 5 and he'd lose 5. So he'd lose 6 and gain 5, so he'd lose 1 and be down to 18. And I'd have an even better board. Yeah, let's not be greedy. We have no reason to be greedy. And this works really well on curve. So he gets that heal. I clear the board. Again, I'm at an advantage right now. He's running out of cards, actually, at this point. So he really needs to make an impact. I think he's probably going to have the second auctioneer by now, I'd say. And probably the other preparation. But he's used two of his rates. One fan of knives. Uh, I think he's used both backstabs. Not 100% on that, but I think he has. So he's probably running a bit low on spells now. Here comes the Violet Teacher play, which is pretty much the power of this deck, which I'll be able to deal with, no doubt, hopefully. Finally using that coin. Is that why he was saving it this entire time? Specifically just for this. He sat back something, you know, it could have been that. That would have been bad sap, but it could have been an Ancient of War, much more powerful. Lotheb, I don't actually have any spells. Alright, so I can I can deal with this. I used two swipes already, which is a bit of a shame to deal with that. Would've been nice. Finally found that Shadow Dax Ramus. About time. Uh yeah, this is this is fine. So we'll just play the zombie chow to have it out. We'll hero power. We'll just keep trading. I suppose I could start going face or whatever, but I feel like right now trading is gonna put me further and further ahead, especially when he's running out of cards. So why not trade and put myself further ahead? I think that's probably the best plan of action. The Assassin's Blade, he's used both Deadly Poisons as well, but he's got this second oil, impressive. So now he can get through that quite well, but he's taking five. It's very low. He could be even lower if I gone face, but he gets the heal. I can deal with this. Get that taunt back up. Stop him from doing nasty damage with that. He's used one spin of his blade uh, so far with the blade flurry. So I don't know whether he's going to be running two. I would say running two in a rogue deck is probably insanely risky and greedy. So we'll see if he has it. But uh, I would say it's a bad call to have two. Just a new deck in general. Let's find out. Second sap. All right. That's fine. Again, I can just play it over and over. He can hit me in the face now, so maybe I should start pumping through damage on his face. He's now out of cards, depending on what this is. Two eviscerates used, so I don't need to worry about that. Time to start taunting up, for sure, though. Definitely need to do that. I'd say we have no reason to risk it. Let's just remove everything he's got. He's used both saps. I got 11 health. I should be fine here. I got the wall up. Great card, though. You can see how it's, it's always been a good card. Good in Arena. Been good in Ranked many, many times in many different decks. Oh, we found the Spell Power. Ah, he had a second one. Oh, my God. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought he killed me there. Because uh, Blade Fury destroyed it. Oh, my God. All right. Haunt the hell up, please. Thank you. All right, what's he gonna get? That scared the hell out of me, man. Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I thought I was dead. He's used both for eviscerates. So I should be all right. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, good. Yep. Awesome. Finally found him. Finally found him. Buffing up the minions, finishing him off. Oh, that was a bit of a heart attack there, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a bit scary. Oh god, I didn't expect uh, to be so threatened there at the end. 
He ran two blade flurries and he had spell power, so it was increasing his damage. And he had quite a high damage on his weapon. It's just, fortunately for me, I was smart and put up two shields instead of just one. If I put up one Senjin and something else there, he would have been able to attack, kill Senjin, um, and then spin, I guess. But then again, I suppose it wouldn't have mattered either way. Yeah, I probably would have been on the same health. So, yeah. We just gave him more value by having him having him spin on two taunts, but either way, I needed to put up as much of a wall as possible. Extra card here is not good. Actually, against a zoo, actually pretty good. Is this going to be handlock or is it going to be zoo? Either way, I definitely want to throw these away. I think I'm going to keep it just in case. Let's zoo. Wild growth, yes. Sending shield master, yes. Mind control tech, yes. If it's Zoo, I'm in a really great situation right now. Doesn't like a Zoo. Coin Wild Growth, turn 3, Mind Control Tech, turn 4, Sengen Shield Master. Do nothing this turn, Wild Growth next turn, Sengen Shield Master. Yeah, I prefer that because we don't know whether he's uh, Zoo or Handlock yet. Obviously, it points to him being handlock right now based on this, and I definitely think he's handlock now. So it's definitely better for me to have waited there for sure. No doubt about it in my mind now that it was definitely the better play uh, finding out that he's, uh, he's handlock to wait while growth. Coining it out is good sometimes if you have the curve for it, but in this situation, I just really needed to not have it. So Black Knight is going to be very important in this matchup. Great innovate. If I could get uh, something big. To go with that, that would be wonderful. But we have a great turn four, we have a great turn five, we have a good turn six if he does get a taunt up. That's a problem though. I guess we just ignore it for a little bit. And if he taunts it up, we'll just deal with it nicely. But uh, this is my first time actually playing against Handlock as this deck and handlock is a very popular thing right now so definitely use this as a learning experience i could innovate swipe swipe that kills that that goes down to three i can trade there that deals nicely with that on turn seven i can do this and hero power all right let's do it Let's do it. Because right now he has a really nice start. And I want to deal with what he's got. The reason I trade there is because he might be able to deal with uh, my taunt. Uh, without needing to trade and have it die. So sure I could have got free damage on his face. But it would have been at the huge risk that um, his mountain giant survives and hits me in the face for 8. And uh, I didn't think it was worth the risk. So that's both mountain giants down now. So he had a really nice start there. Let's pray that he doesn't have the molten giants. There's the dark bomb. That is what I was afraid of. And he used it on a 1-2. I would say that's a win for me. I'm going to go ahead and coin out the Shed and Axaramus here as well. Just to get that out. And we're looking for Ancient of Laws, Ancient of Wars now. And Scenarius, I guess, as well. But right now we are teetering out on... Um, power and our cards in general twilight drake pretty strong demon fire it looked like he made the misplay there of uh sending it on my minion but uh, he had not so this is counted by the silence so i want to wait to do that as long as possible i don't really want to give him a minion either I think I just taunt up and hero power. Where shall I he has a way to deal with this. Do I trade? No, I don't think I do. Oh, wait on this. No reason to attack right now. I'm trying to get a mind control tech off, basically. The more minions he plays, it's going to be good. And against a handlock... It's going to be really unlikely that I'm going to be able to use a mind control tech valuable in a valuable way. So since he's very close to that four cards on board moment, I'm going to try and pull it off. Son of a bitch. That's really lucky. I mean, maybe it's his only one. Please play another minion. Please play another minion. Please. 
You're six mana. You should totally play another minion. Don't play around the control tech. Play another minion. Ah, oh, that got me so excited when he did that. Oh, man. Yeah, this game looks bad, guys. I did, uh, I did uh, get the sneeds, fortunately. I mean, the game's not over. You know, it is not over. But this is tough. This is tough right now. He had both Mountain Giants. He had the Twilight Drake. He got the Doom Guard as well. He had the Dark Bomb. So it's one Dark Bomb, one Doom Guard, one... Uh, oh, okay, what's going to be? Bolva. All right, mate. <laughs> All right. <laughs> God. It's going bad, guys. It's going real bad. I'll be honest. This is not a nice start for me at the moment. Wow, he's actually trading into the Bolvar. Really nice for me. That was a mistake from him, I'd say. Get the second shade out. Hero power. Hit him in the face. And uh, keep waiting. Keep waiting. Patience is key right now. We need those cards, and we're not seeing them at the moment, so patience is key. I think he's thinking about, is it worth it for him to sacrifice his uh, five drop? Oh! Okay. Okay. Please. Please. Please give me Malganus. Give me the Malganus. Do it. Ah, <laughs> the worst one. The worst card out of them all to get right now. You're joking. That didn't happen. Oh, that's just fucked up, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, any of the other, any of these three, man. All right, I guess RNG happens, you know. Do I heal here? I really need the cards. I think if I heal here, I pretty much accept defeat. Scenarius is here. That could be big if I survive this turn. So let's make sure I do. So this is uh, 16 damage I'm looking at. There's nothing I can do about it. So if he has one damage, I'm dead. Any, just one damage. Engaging TC-130. Mental dislocator. Okay, so he takes my best card with his. And there's the one damage. He BM'd me. If I'd stolen Malganus or the Doom Guard, I would be fine right now. RNG happens, guys. I'm just gonna have a cry about it, alright? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was fun, though. God. God, that mind control tech, though. Why did it have to betray me like that? Why did it have to betray me like that? So, what? what how do you feel about this deck in general, guys? Um... You know, it's missing the free drop of uh, Big Game Hunter. You know, this is one that we see a lot right now. Would that have helped me? You know, I took out Big Game Hunter for Sneeds, right? What do you think? Because, I mean, this is the same thing Trump did as well. Bear in mind. And I did play Sneeds in that game. In that situation, I played Sneeds. I don't believe there was anything with seven health, seven damage, it could have instantly killed Malganis. It could have instantly killed that Doom Guard when it was buffed up. But obviously, it would have killed Malganis. Maybe in that game, it might have been better, but I'm not sure. But either way, that's the deck. That's what I'm running right now. And I'm actually really enjoying the playstyle. It's very simple and relaxing. And I like the choices you can make. I once made a really awesome play. We had Sylvanas Windrunner. He had... Um, he was an enemy druid. He had... 246 taunts with a druid of claw and a one health silence sludge belcher and i swipe them putting them to four five so now sylvanas can kill them uh the one damage sludge one health sl sludge belcher died now there was two four five staring at me and I had a five four sylvanas windrunner uh sorry i had a five five sylvanas windrunner and i raft it to a five four so it would die when it traded with the druid of the claw and then stole his remaining Druid of the Claw taunt. It was really cool. And you can do really fun plays like that, you know? So I think I just got quite unlucky with that um, handlock. He had a really nice start, a really nice hand, 
and the plays that he made were very strong. And, you know, fair play to him, he won the game. But, uh, God damn it, mind control tech. You're gonna have to do better than that, man. You're gonna have to do better than that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. I'll be doing uh, my new style of guides soon, again, I promise. Just waiting for the new season and uh, trying some new decks, getting back into the game. Really enjoying it. So, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I've been Hollow, you've been you, and I'll see you next time.